When the Canadian Canoe Museum asked me to help promote their National Canoe Day celebration, my first response was to have a special canoe made for it. Not just any canoe, a true Canadian canoe. Novacraft Canoe Company in London, Ontario took on the challenge. Uh, well, we started out, we uh, had a, our graphic designers worked with us to um, make the decals for us, which are uh, the flag decals and come up with a nice design that flows through the canoe. Yeah, what inspired me was the uh, 72 Canadian Hockey Series with the Russians uh, and I wanted to uh, kind of lean a little bit on that because I've always loved the design of the shirts and to reinforce that there's a toonie buried uh, at middle ice in the canoe. <laughs> so we worked with them for a bit of back and forth coming up with a nice design and then we went to our uh, decal manufacturer who makes the vinyl decals for us and they uh, pitched in and made the, all the different size maple leaves for us and, and basically the way the process works is we uh, stick all those decals in the mold first and then um, spray the uh, background color red and then right away peel those decals out of the mold as before the gel coat sets so we get a good um, sharp line on each leaf and then uh, go back and spray it white over top so then the uh, leaves all come out the white color. Yeah. And then after that we um, lay up all the different layers of cloth to make it a, make the Kevlar boat. And then it's all uh, set up with a, with a vacuum bag. We use a process called infusion which uh, uses vacuum pressure to distribute the resin evenly throughout the, uh, throughout the laminate so you get a really, really dense um, void free laminate. And very strong for the for the weight. On this particular boat, we're using white ash with some uh, with some cherry in there, just for a little extra sex appeal. The hardest part with the trimming with woods is finding uh, lengths of wood that are long enough that without without any knots in them anymore. And so we have to um, scout around to some of the local sawmills and find find 18 foot boards that are uh, knot free, and then. Uh, send them off to a molding shop and get the get our gunnels made up. So we fit the inside gunnels and the decks, then the decks in the end and then we uh, fit the outside gunnels and uh, throughout the process making sure everything stays nice and straight and uh, then we fit the cut and fit the seats and uh, thwarts and yokes and uh, carrying handles and uh, come up with a nice finished product. So we picked the Cronier, it was a, an early chestnut canoe design, it was named after a uh, general, I believe, in the uh, Boer War. We were looking for a 17-foot uh, cruising style canoe design and um, the Cronier was a, an old chestnut canoe design. We, our specialty as a company is, um, is maintaining uh, uh, quality Canadian traditional designs. Um, for us it's a way to um, maintain or um, promote Canadian heritage in the, in the canoe. It's good for the guys in the shop. It's, a, it's something totally different and something they can put the, some pride into. Steve really enjoys um, wood carving and his uh, father is actually a master carver, a very famous uh, Canadian uh, carver. and um, So he's, he's learned a lot from his father and uh, he enjoys that. He works with the people and uh, comes up with uh, something that they can treasure for a long time. Jerry or Gerard is uh, an Irish fellow who came over here in 1969, and he's he's been in the uh, in the fiberglass industry for close to 40 years now, and um, he's forgotten probably way more than anybody else in the shop knows about uh, building molds. And uh, yeah, highly highly knowledgeable person. Yeah, we're lucky to have him. Yeah, all the guys in the shop are excited about it for sure. You know they. If they're Canadian, they realize how important uh, canoeing is to Canadians. And yeah, everybody out here is pretty committed to the to the canoe and uh, to how it fits into Canadian culture for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm.